Hey guys, this is Pastor Scott, and I'm up here still at uh, Prayer Mountain in uh, Corona, California. And I just wanted to share with you a little bit of the walk over to lunch. Um, maybe the whole walk. It's not that far, but let me just flip this around um, and just show you guys. And I got my little uh, image stabilizer, so it should be pretty smooth for you. So let's go for a walk. Here's the little... Uh, room or trailer or whatever you want to call it that I have. It's not actually really that little. It's three bedrooms, <laughs> believe it or not. And I have chairs and bottled waters. Hi, Mama. And everything in different stations and a couch and a recliner and a uh, bed and everything in there. Uh, things to uh, uh, little stations where I just go back and forth and walk around as I write the uh, the book. And we are on chapter two now. And the title of that chapter tentatively right now is called The Meanies. <laughs> the first uh, thing that I wrote nine years ago was the prologue. And that's actually really quite lengthy. Um, a lot of words. I haven't yet count, used the word counter to find out how many. But it's really lengthy. And then chapter one, I started about nine years ago. And that's called The Beginning and that goes all the way back to elementary school and tells a brief history of some of the things and trouble that I got into and our family issues. Sorry, Mama. Uh, a lot of it's going to be aired out, but I've been doing my best to do it tastefully um, as the Holy Spirit leads. But it'll be fun. And uh, we had nothing to hide. God is in control. And we had some ups and downs back then. So I want to highlight more of the downs than the ups because this is the testimony of the life that was led before Christ. But yeah, the prologue, then chapter one is called the beginning and then chapter two, the meanies. And that's pretty self-explanatory. Amen. So let's, uh, I'm just showing you guys here. Lunch it starts at 12. So I'm on the way right now. And then as you can see, there's a little area there. There's a Another church over there that can be used or maybe rented out or whatever. Um, but yeah, this is Prayer Mountain in Corona, California. I don't think you guys can hear it, but there are places to pray and hills and little dog house looking huts that they built um, where people pray. And in any given moment, all day long, uh, you can hear people crying out, I mean, really going for it, like yelling, speaking in their spiritual language and just weeping and, and going for it, man, just praying, tearing down strongholds, praying things, giving birth to ministries, praying for families and nations and whatever else the Lord would put on their heart. But this is, it's beautiful up here. It's um not very renovated or whatever. They got the property years and years ago after, I believe, five years. The prayer warriors from Grace Chapel, the Lord spoke to them and said, this property will be yours. They travailed in prayer. They even approached the owner of the property and said that they would like to buy it or something like that. And he said, nope, no way. Not going to happen. And then they prayed consistently every day. They came to the foot of the hill and they prayed and called it forward. Just like God said, let there be light. Even there was no light. And then light happened. And so everything was created. They did the same thing and spoke to this mountain, told us to come forth. And the story from what I understand is that eventually the owner of the property called them, contacted them, and said that he was going to give it to them free of charge. And now people have donated, purchased little trailers and huts and such up here. And then you just show up, tell them what you want to do, and make you sign a little waiver now. And they give you a key to one of these places and you pray. And then they have three prayer services every day, 6 a.m., 11 
a.m. and 8 p.m. And then Astra and the team prepares a lunch and a dinner. 12 p.m. lunch and 6 p.m. dinner in between the services to feed the saints. It generally consists of rice and kimchi, some vegetables from the garden that they have here. I believe this is the pastor's house. And he is faithful. He's been here doing three services a day for years and the occasional break, probably weekly, given by the associate pastor. Three services a day, 365 days a year. That's 1,095 services in that church right there. and over six or 700 meals prepared for the servants of God every year, faithful, ran completely by faith. So this is it. Let me just go up here and then I gotta get some lunch and then get back to writing. Holy Spirit, it says right there. Let me see if you guys can see that. Let me get you a view of one of the peaks here. We got the cross right there. Just look at this. It's just beautiful. And they do their best. And they're working constantly up here, keeping the place pretty, cleaning up and doing stuff. But yeah, Prayer Mountain, Corona, California. The chairs. Even an old recliner. <laughs> That's hilarious. Don't know about sitting in there. What if you want to? This is Pastor Scott checking out Prayer Mountain. Let me flip this around. Keep me in prayer as I am on currently probably about one third of the way done with chapter two of the book. Um, yeah. Did a little Googling and found out that the average chapter word count is from three to 5,000 words per chapter. So that's what I'm trying to keep, keep each chapter in that range. Amen. So God bless you guys. Keep us in prayer. If you need anything at all, give us a call at 1-855-70-JESUS. Pray, pray, pray. And God's going to get the glory as always. Everything we do. I love you guys. Lunchtime. Peace.